Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be reviewing a LEGO City Advent Calendar. So yeah, um, I'll just open it. And so usually you open up the box for whichever date it is. And you will find the, all of the pieces and what you're going to build. And you have the instructions on the other side. But when I got this, there was already a LEGO fairy that had built it for me. So I don't have to build it on camera now. So I will start with the very first box, and it's in the bag. So this is a snow plowing car. So you can sit a person down in here, and then they can drive around plowing the snow for everybody. So this part can move, depending on which snow. So yeah, so that is the first thing for the day, for the very first day. So for the second one, I'm going to have first find it. Here it is. In the bag. So this is actually... Um, I'm very, very clumsy. <laughs> That's why whenever on video I drop things a lot and um, I have to pick them back up again. Anyway, so this is actually a sort of machine So for snowballs. So you put some snowballs over here and then go and then you can shoot them at enemies. So this is it. Just show it. And yeah, so that is for the second day. For the third day, we get a little minifigure with We get a minifigure, like over here, who is in a very nice winter costume. And he's very, very happy in the holiday season. And he also has a broom. And actually, if you look on the box, it's, he's playing curling. And yeah, so that is for the third day. Ooh, I'll just have him sit down. Or lie down, whichever one. So for the fourth day, um, you will get a... Dun, 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 dun. This is hard. Oh, here. You will find a really cool snow castle slash fort, which I mean, anybody who has ever played in snow has built a snow castle or fort. So that is just it for the fourth day. Cool. Now for the fifth day, you will be getting a cool little surprise. So, <laughs> So this actually looks a little bit unclear. So this is an axe, or yeah, well this is an axe. And here we just have some wood or lumber. And usually you just have to do like this, and it splits in half since you need lots of wood for the holiday season. So that is just it for the fifth one. For the sixth one, uh, here we go. For the sixth one, we get a nice little Christmas tree. Oop, I fell. We get a nice little Christmas tree with a little star on top. So that's it. That's it for the sixth day. And now for the seventh day, we get actually a, another minifigure. So this is actually a little boy and he's wearing a really cool hat. And he even has a cookie. There we go. And yeah, so that is it for the seventh day. Oh, I'll just move everything along a little bit. Now we're gonna move on to the eighth day. So the eighth, da, 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 da. oh, here we go. <laughs> the eighth, for the eighth, you will receive some miniature Lego presents. So this actually is supposed to be a present since you can open it. Or, or, or no, you can't. So it looks like a nice little present. And then we get two other strangely, uh, with, well, two other strange presents. Well, because they're in, in an odd shape. So for the ninth, we are gonna have to We get a really cool snowman. And I really, really like making snowmen out of Lego because I think that they look super cute and it's just really fun to make them. So this here, we have a cool, oh, I'm sorry. We have a cool snowman who is falling apart. 
global warming. There we go. So here we have a snowman. He's wearing a really nice hat and a scarf and all. So yeah. Now let's move on to the 10th day. Where we get another minifigure. This time we actually get a girl. And here we have a nice woman who's holding up a camera. She is dressed for the cold weather with a scarf and a nice warm hat. And she is taking pictures of maybe her child and, or her husband playing curling. Moving on to the 11th, we actually get all of the um, stuff for curling. So here we have a blue team as well as a red team. So we have two of each. I'll just hold those up, see? And we have two of each, so all in all we have four. So I think that these will go very, very well for the man who's playing curling. I'll just put them right over here. And yeah, now moving, I'll just put them in order. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Everybody's wrong. Now moving on to the next one. I forget, um, we're doing the 12th, I think. Yes, we are. So this is actually a nice little chair with a lamp. Oh, this is a rocking chair, so that's cool. So you can sit somebody down and they can be rocking back and forth. And a nice little lamp. Now, moving on to the 13th, we get another minifigure. We get a nice old, well, we get a nice grandma who apparently has a book and it reads Once Upon a Time. So I'm guessing it's maybe a fairy tale book or maybe a Christmas Carol. So here is the minifigure. She's wearing a nice Christmas vest and she seems to be quite happy. So here we have her. Moving on, now we're gonna go to the 14th. The one thing that I really, really enjoy about um, Lego Christmas ca calendars is that you get a lot more pieces and minifigures than you would get for a Lego set of the same price. So let's just find, uh, that was the 13th, so I'm gonna try and find the 14th. If I can. Oh, here we go. Here we have a nice table with some snacks and a candle. It's very Christmassy. So that's that. So here we have a nice hot beverage, maybe some coffee, hot chocolate, maybe, maybe even eggnog, and a nice little cookie. Yeah, now I'm gonna move on to the 15th. And this is actually something really, really cool. That was, that was fun to build. So this is actually a snowmobile and it looks like so much fun. So we can have somebody sitting down on here like grandma and they can just be plowing through the snow and just driving and it just seems like a lot, a lot of fun. So yeah, moving on to the 16th. This is actually a little kitchen, I think. Oh yeah, exactly. So here we have somebody who's building some gingerbread, well, who's baking gingerbread, or just some sort of sweet thingy. I don't know. Anyways, you can have it rotate and you can have it be pushed out. And yeah, and it's always nice to have a little kitchen for Christmas because everybody's always cooking and making a lot of dishes. Now we're gonna move on to the 17th, which I cannot find. The only problem, oh, there I found it. We have another minifigure. The only problem, like I was saying, um, with advent calendars, it feels like they're always, I can't find one. Anyways, so here we have a nice man, perhaps a grandfather, who's wearing a very nice Christmas sweater that looks very, very comfy. And he's holding a fire extinguisher or maybe some sort of spray, I don't know. And yeah, now the 18th. Oh, I can actually find the 18th. So this is a nice little dining room or coffee room sort of table because we have a nice little salad and we have some chicken or turkey. Lots of people eat turkey as well as chicken on um, Christmas. I always thought that it was more of a Thanksgiving thing, but yeah, apparently that is what our Christmas as well. So now for the 19th, we get this really nice grandfather clock. Wait, I just... Sure. Anyways, so this is a very nice grandfather clock. I really like it because I think that it really adds to the Christmas spirit when there's something like a clock. <laughs> that sounds weird. Anyways, now I'll get the 20th one and we get another minifigure. 
I am really, really happy about the amount of minifigures here because I know they're usually in Lego sets. Because this one, it costs about 25 euros maybe for you to buy, and we have so many minifigures and so many pieces. I know that if you buy a Lego set for the same amount of price, you might not get as much, as many minifigures and as many pieces. But um, here we have a nice little, well, a nice little boy who is just snowboarding. And yeah, very nice. He's just snowboarding through all of this. And yeah, now moving on to the 21st. We have an awesome magnifying glass. Well, not magnifying glass, but telescope, so that somebody can be standing here and just watching and looking at the stars. Because I think that that's also like very, very nice to do, because you can look up at the stars, maybe even see Santa. So now moving on to the 22nd, we get a super, super, super cozy fireplace. I really like it. So we just have some fire over here and it just seems very cozy to me. Now moving on to the 23rd. I cannot find it. Oh, there we go. We have, we have um, a dog sled being pulled by a husky. And it just looks super cute because you can have somebody sit down, like grandma again, sorry. And you can have the dog just um, drag it. <laughs> well, not drag it, but pull the grandma. Also, the grandma fell once more. As I said, I'm very, very clumsy. So yeah. And finally, we're gonna do the 24th little one. And of course, it's Santa, which is really cool. I love it when they have Santa in Lego sets because I think that just makes it so much more fun. So he is actually, well, of course this is Santa. I'll just show him. And he looks so, so jolly. I love his hat and everything. And he also has a cool backpack. Well, not a backpack, but Santa always has a big bag full of um, treats and gifts, of course. So we just get that and yeah. So that is it for this advent calendar. I was so, so pleased by this. I really, really recommend for you to buy this because there are so many figures. There are at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven many figures here and there's just so much here to play with and everything. I think that this is a really nice gift to get. And yeah, so that is it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the, not the bell so that you don't miss out on any notifications and so that you don't miss out on any new videos. Bye.